MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. We're here in the heart of the UK at Midlands Aerospace. We've been invited here by Diebold to review one of their machines. Let's take a look. We're here at Midlands Aerospace. Lewis, thanks for your time. Um, obviously big into aerospace here. Could you tell me why you've actually invested in a Diebold heat shrink product? Yeah, it's been a massive help across business for us. Um, we've had similar machines in the past, not really been what they should be. Obviously Diebold come in and provided us with this product. And well, basically, I'll show you a few things about how it is, but it helps across all three and five axes. It's one of the best bits of kit we've brought. But yeah, I can show you a few things on it. It's, it is a really decent piece of kit. Health and safety is there with it. Brilliant. So, how many tool changes would you actually use uh, on this uh, product? It's, it's used every day, every job. Every job we do has got a heat shrink holder, like this one here. Um, it's, it's, it's used more than a standard holders. But yeah, it's used by every machinist in here, that's right, every day. And Compared to your last product that you had on board, what was the productivity saving would you suggest? It's massive, massive. The, the old one, it were all manual, no, no digital screen. It were put your tools in, take them out, you've got risk of burning your hands. It were really old school, but with this one, it obviously it cools your tool, it cools it down for you, brings it back up. It's used, used every day by everyone, it's easy to use as well. We've had a lot of support from D-Bold when it does go down, anything like that, they are here a lot. It's been, been a good piece of care. Any chance of giving us demo? Yeah, that's fine. They provide you with these Kevlar gloves, obviously, because it gets up really, really hot. This is just one of, one of many holders. It's, this is a 12 mil, and basically you've got these, these rings here. These determine the size of your tool. And above here, I'll tell you your damage on there. This is a 12 mil cutter, so I'm going to use 12 to 16. That'll go in there. That clips in. You've got these different bases for all different back end holders. That'll sit in there, and then you just sit it on top. You've got a little screen here, you can either do, you can do manual operations or you can use parameters what's feel like for specific tool holders. We've got to have all different sorts of tool holders here. But for this one I'm just going to do it manually. So you go down to manual. You can decide how long it's going to put heat through the tool for. Um, it's going to come down, basically heat it up so it expands. I'll take it out and then it's going to take it down, cool it down and then when it comes back up, you can touch it straight away without burning yourself. That's where the old product had a lot of trouble with that. Okay. So I'm going to do it for about five seconds, 80% power. So I'm going to press start and this, this will automatically come down. And it'll say on here shrinking. That's putting heat through that now. And it should start releasing the tool, as it has done there. You take that out and it's dwelling now. So if I have another tool that I want to put in, say in for instance I want to put it back, you put it back in like that, then it's going to take it down and cool it. And, and before it took a lot no, longer. Yeah, there was no cooling time. It were you take one out, put one in, and you had to stand there with your airline, and your lens could vary. But with this one, it's gone down and it comes straight back up. And as soon as it's done, you can grab it straight away. I'll take these gloves off now. The cooling time is set. You can alter that, but it's a set time until it's cool. But it's you can alter all your parameters for how long it puts the heat into it, and how long it cools it down for, how long it dwells for. But it does like it does from four mil up to sixteen mil, even bigger up to twenty. But it's it's been ideal for us here. We use that in every job we do, we use these old, these sort of holders. And I suppose when you've got a, a lot of tool changes, obviously it's Yeah, because it's, it's, it's a speed for you. shop, it's, you're forever changing your job and forever setting up, breaking down, so it's really handy to have. All it's doing now is blowing air, it's, gonna, it's, it's blowing all the cool it back off the product. And then now you can just, just grab it like that, obviously it was really hot, and now it's, you can touch it, you can walk off, put it straight inside your machine. Brilliant, okay. And, and what sort of backup do you actually get from Dybol? The machines only ever broke down once, and it, wasn't, it, it was electrical power error, not, not their fault, it was to do with our power here. And they came in within the same, well, I think it was the day after, we rang on the Monday, they were here by Tuesday, they fitted us a new screen. Anything we need, like in the bottom here, you had, you've got different dives that you add into it, where it takes your tool down, down there, and it, you use this, this cooling liquid. Whenever you run out of that, they are always backing it back up, so that's always there for, there for that. Anything you need, they're always there after with, with their product self as that. Brilliant. Okay, so a great investment for uh, Midlands oh, yeah. Aerospace. It's one of the best ones we've got. It's one of the best things we've brought. Especially like, compared to the last one we had. It's been brilliant. Brilliant. Okay, Lewis, thanks very much no for your problem. time. Cheers. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.